Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. In today's video we are going to look at gold, silver and Tesla. First of all we, can, we have gold chart in front of us. I have plotted the two averages which is 50 day moving average, the green line this one and then we have 200 day moving average this one. I've also uh, drawn this RSI to answer the question whether we are oversold or not. Uh, first of all we want to look at the oversold condition we can clearly see from the daily chart RSI that we are not in the oversold condition so that's that's fine on that regard as if you look at the trend we can clearly see from the trend line that so far the trend from this top has been going down and then we can also see a confirmation coming from moving averages this is a go uh, this is a cross occurring as well. Death cross is called death cross, and we can see that this has happened already. And we can also see that the, uh, the when the prices went up, they were actually kept from the fast moving average, which is 50. So we can clearly see that the support is coming in line. We can also see that this region is very important as far as resistance is support is confirmed. If you look at the previous trend, starting from this all the way bottom, we did not have. Uh, any important support till this one actually so for the trend that was coming all the way down this was a very important place and that we can see that we have seen the resistance for the trend that was coming down exactly in this area so we can see that not only the resistance is coming in handy but we can also see that the support this is also becoming as a support area as well so the support it looks like on a daily chart we can see that there is actually some sort of reversal at least it's a good uh, reversal that we have seen and we can also see that this is actually also the bottom of the previous move as well so all these signs are indicating that it looks like the trend downward is healthy we were expecting a deeper correction and uh, instead I think that the trend will continue from this on onward so instead we were looking at wave A, wave B and wave C, a deeper wave C and you were expecting that instead I think now we are going to see the price continue from this one so I'm on that point of view. As for the as far as the larger price pattern is concerned, I'm open on both counts. I'm considering right now that this is wave one, of course, complete. There is a possibility we are going running with two wave counts. One is that this is only wave A, and the other one is wave two. That this is wave two completion of the trend. If this is the wave two, in that case, we will see uh, bottom sign occurring somewhere over here. If this is not a completion of trend right over here in that case we will see prices prices coming all the way down over here it is too complicated to call uh, for where exactly it is so we are going to keep both in mind as far as the trend itself is concerned on the daily time frame we can see that there is a clearly buy bearish bias in the trend and I'm going to run with that as far as let's consider that this is a impulsive move in that case I'm considering this whole move start from this top to this bottom as wave 1 and this considering this whole price movement as wave A, wave B and wave C a flat correction. So this is wave 1 and this is wave 2. So we are expecting that the price move will downward. Now in this case that this is actually wave 3 we, are, we should be expecting a deeper price movement that will be complete, uh, giving us an indication that some wave 3 is occurred somewhere right over here. So for now we will look at uh, we'll be bearish on gold and we are going to take this analysis with us okay let's have a look at silver silver I'm not going to discuss the larger pattern I'm looking at uh, the bias as bearish we were expecting that the prices would actually shoot up and we were expecting that the uh, floor has already occurred the support is already coming on but the recent price action has given us a in clear indication uh, we can consider this as a leading diagonal wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5 and it looks like that wave, the correction is, uh, is about to be finishing in this region as well this is going to play in line with gold so I'm expecting that there will be a uh, this leg will be a bearish where exactly the pattern is it's too much mass already we are not going to discuss and we are not trying to attempt instead we are just looking that the price of silver is going to go down the target area is an immediate target is this right over here this is the immediate target but it can actually run to this area as well so we'll keep both options in mind and once again I am bearish on silver now Tesla I've done some uh, work on Tesla and it looks like that for now the market is halted and we are going through the reason for that is that we are going through the correctional phase 
we have seen huge gains in Tesla last year it went from around forty dollars forty two dollars to all the way to nine hundred dollars so that was amazing run up and it looks like that profit taking is already taking place so I'm ex I'm continuing with this uh, um, with this observation that we are going through correctional phase let's have a look at the monthly time frame uh, let's have a look at the larger frame so I'm considering this whole price run as this wave one of secure degree and then wave two ending right over here and I'm considering this as wave three we can clearly see a five wave pattern within it wave one wave two wave three wave four and wave five so I'm expecting this that the the correction will actually carry on within the correction if you look at it with uh, this of course impulsive wave seems to be completed right over here so within the correction we can see that we have a five wave pattern clearly wave one wave two wave three wave four and wave five i'm considering this as first wave of the zigzag which is wave a and i do believe that we are already have probably completed the wave b which seems to be ending in the wave four of previously five wave degree so this is a pretty good uh, place to to be short if you are actually uh, deciding to go to short it's pretty good price area I'm expecting that the uh, price range downward is going to be somewhere in the wave four of previous five waves in a uh, five wave degree a five <laughs> give me a moment so I'm expecting that our target is going to be wave four of the previous five wave structure so we can see that which is this area so for the target for this price movement is somewhere around going to be in this region I've also tried to uh, come up with some sort of timeline I'm expecting that this is probably going to be as long as wave A so if that is in mind then we should be expecting some interesting price behavior from Tesla the price target is let's say we can put that in the center of this so we can consider this as a price target uh, right over here in this region somewhere around four hundred dollar per share I hope that I was able to put some light on uh, the trend analysis of gold silver and Tesla wish you guys look good luck have a good one and bye bye